Hi, yogis. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Lily Vett, and this is Flow for Balance. And speaking of balance, today we're going to do a few poses that include some balance challenges. It's going to be a brief practice so that you have time to go ahead and move along with your day or end your day. So we are going to start in child's pose. Let's go ahead and get right into that pose. Your big toes are going to come together, your knees as wide as you can get them. Go ahead and extend your arms long, forehead to the ground. Start to take three cleansing breaths, inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. Start to come to a natural breath flow. Allow your shoulders to kind of sink in a little more down toward your mat. See if you can get your heart a little closer to the mat as well. Jiggle your jaw to release any tension you might be holding. Relax the cheeks, the eyebrows, the face. And while you are in this pose, see if you can come to an intention for this practice. What brought you to your mat today? Many times we are seeking an answer to some sort of an issue we have going on in our lives. Sometimes we just need to relax and release Whatever you do, keep your intentions simple. Perhaps one simple word such as release or breathe. Maybe your intention could be to let go of your to-do list and to take care of yourself as you practice. Whatever it is, see if you can connect the breath to the pose, to the intention, making your practice come full circle for you as you go ahead and practice. Keeping in mind that there is no such thing as a perfect pose, only the best that you can do. Take a deep inhale. On the exhale, walk your hands over to the right. Keep your arms at shoulder width distance apart. Sink down, feeling a stretch in your left side body. Whatever you do, this is a little bit of a balance challenge. So please practice with kindness and compassion for yourself. This is all about you. Remember that life is not perfect, neither is your practice. We're gonna have some bobbles and wobbles. Go ahead and enjoy those, have fun. Take a nice deep inhale and then on the exhale, go ahead and sink down in your child's pose as you have come to the left and feel a stretch on your right side body. The goal is never perfection, of course. Take a deep inhale on the exhale, sink down in the middle. Last time and really try and reach your heart all the way down to the mat. Finding that Ujjayi Pranayama breath, that victory 
with this breath, that gentle constriction in the back of the throat, making that breath audible to you, that allows you to make your flow a little more meditative as you move. Bring your hands toward your knees, inhale, on the exhale, push up. Bring your knees together, coming into Thunderbolt. Inhale the arms all the way up. On the exhale, go ahead and take the right hand to the left knee, the left hand behind you. Careful that you are not leaning back, but keeping your shoulders right over the hips. With each inhale, your spine grows taller. With each exhale, see if you can take that twist a little deeper. Inhale all the way up to the top. On the exhale, taking it to the opposite side now. We are appreciating and enjoying our humanity as we practice. We are all divine beings having a human experience. Some people don't like to hear that we are divine beings, so just beings having a human experience. Inhale the arms all the way up. On the exhale, cactus the arms. Really engage your shoulder blades like you're scraping a wall behind you. Bring the elbows back. Inhale up. Exhale, bring the hands to heart center. Two breaths here. Take a deep inhale on the exhale. Come into tabletop position. Your wrists are in line with your shoulders. Your knees are in line with your hips. Let's take our first balance challenge here. You're gonna take your right arm forward, your left leg back, keeping your hips square, making sure that that left hip doesn't pop up. Deep inhale on the exhale, meet in the middle, elbow and knee, rounding the back. Inhale out. Exhale, bring it in the middle. Inhale out. Exhale, meet in the middle. Inhale out and hold it here for five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and take that down. Take it to the opposite side now. Again, making sure that right hip doesn't pop up. You're keeping it nice and square. Deep inhale. Exhale, round the back, meet in the middle. Inhale, take it out. Exhale, meet in the middle. Inhale out. Exhale, meet in the middle. Inhale out. Hold it here. Push up away from the mat. Five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead. Bring that right leg up. Nice deep inhale. Exhale. Hold the knee in the middle. Four, three, two, one. One, go ahead and place the foot right between the hands. If you want to, take that left leg back just a little bit more. Bring the right thumb over knee over the left and inhale, bring it all the way up. Come into a little bit of a back bend here. And then exhale, take it down. Do that again. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, take it down. Inhale, hands to heart center. Nice deep inhale. On the exhale, go ahead and take your right elbow on the outside, or your left elbow, excuse me, on the outside of that left right knee. Boy, <laughs> go ahead and come down. And then see if you can allow that body to come down just a little bit more so that you can really go ahead and get a really good hip flexor stretch in that left leg and a good compression in that right knee. This in and of itself is a good balance challenge. Try to see if you can make that right elbow your juristy. 
smooth out the breath. Relax the face. Connect the breath to the pose, to the intention. Take a deep inhale, start to turn. On the exhale, bring your hands into heart center. Now, bring this right foot in just a little bit more. Go ahead and take that right hand, put it in your around your sacrum, and then as if you were putting your fingers into a back pocket, so your fingers are facing down, and then bring that left hand to the outside of that right knee, shoulders are back and down, take a nice deep inhale. On the exhale, start to twist to the right. So you're going to feel some wobbles and bobbles, and that is totally okay. And then when you can't twist anymore to the right, take a couple of breaths there. And then start to come all the way back to center. Bring your hands into heart center. Inhale the arms all the way up. And exhale, I want you to go ahead and bring the hands down. Walk the foot out a little more, just like you had it before. Take your body down. So your heart is forward, chest up, shoulders back and down, taking a nice deep inhale. And then on the exhale, come back into your half splits pose. Flexing those right toes. coming into a balance challenge yet again. So your fingertips are on the mat. Take a deep inhale. On the exhale, take the hands back. Maybe bring the upper body down a little more. Tune into your breath, relax the face. deep inhale on the exhale bring the hands back down plant your hands come back into your plank hold it here for five four three two one bring it forward and then you can up dog or cobra and then bring it all the way back So this is your very first down dog. You can pedal it out if you'd like. We won't be here long because you're gonna take it right back to the knees. But you wanna feel the body here. Let the breath flow through you. Have your fingers nice and wide. So try to make the heels disappear behind the toes. If they don't, don't worry about it. It doesn't matter. Nice deep inhale, and then on the exhale, come down onto your knees. Inhale, and then exhale. Bring the left knee into the chest. Hold it here for three, two, one, and then place that foot between the hands. You can take that right knee back just a little bit now the left thumb goes over the right inhale all the way up little back bend here exhale down one more time inhale exhale down inhale bring the hands to heart center now you're going to take that right elbow on the outside of that left knee Try to let the body sink down a little bit more and your toes lift them and lower them so you don't have a death grip on the mat. And you're gonna look toward that 
left elbow, that's your dristi. Deepen the breath. See if you can push up a little higher. Nice deep inhale. Exhale back to center. We're gonna bring this leg in a little bit more to do our balance challenge. So your left fingertips come down into your back pocket. Right hand is across, shoulders are back and down. Nice deep inhale, and then exhale, start to turn until you can't turn anymore. Smooth out the breath, relax the face. And when you get to that point where you can no longer turn, just relax and breathe. Enjoy the wobbles and the bobbles. Now take a nice deep inhale and start to slowly come back. Bring your hands to heart center. your toes forward a little bit and let's bring the hands down frame the foot inhale and then exhale go ahead and take it back flex those toes your fingertips are around midpoint in your calf area use your breath to help you Relax the body and then start to take your hands back and come into that balance pose in your half splits pose and then try and see if you can take your upper body down a little lower. here for five, four, three, two, one, and let's vinyasa, take it down, either up dog or cobra, and then exhale into down dog. Walk your hands to your feet. Have a generous bend in your knees. Let your head hang low. You can grab opposite hand to opposite elbow. You can come from side to side. Just allow your head to hang heavy. Release any gripping in your toes. Let your spine just release and lengthen, creating some space between the vertebrae. Release your hands and then start to come up on an inhale. Exhale at the top, bring your shoulders back and down, palms are forward in mountain pose. to step your feet in take a deep inhale and go ahead 
and bring your right knee in toward your right armpit and shoulder. And let's hold that here for your balance challenge. For a wind release pose. will be great some days it won't we're not machines we are human so let's inhale the arms all the way up on the exhale encircle the left wrist exhale over to the right inhale up encircle the right wrist and circle left and exhale left Inhale up. And then cactus your arms. Nice exhale. Inhaling up. Exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Inhale your arms all the way up. Encircle the right wrist. Exhale, left. Inhale, center. And circle the left wrist, exhale right. Inhale, center. Cactus the arms, nice. Exhale here. Inhale, all the way up. And then exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Give me two breaths. Deep inhale, arms all the way up. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, halfway lift, hands on the shins, lengthen the spine, create some space. Exhale, forward fold. Let's go ahead and bend that right knee. Lift up that left hand. And then exhale, take it down. Bend the left knee. And then inhale that right arm. And then exhale, take it down. One more time each side. Bend the right knee. Inhale the left arm all the way up. And then exhale, take it down. Bend the left. And then inhale the right all the way up. Exhale down. So if you have any back issues, what I want you to do is I want you to take your feet to hips width distance apart. If you do not have any back issues, I want you to have your toes together, heels a couple of inches apart, and then inhale all the way up. And then exhale into Ukatasana chair pose. If you have troubles with your shoulders, I want you to bring your thumbs to your sternum. Otherwise, leave your arms up. Inhale the arms down, sweep them down to the mat. Exhale up. 
inhale down exhale up inhale down exhale up one more time inhale down exhale up hold it here go ahead and clasp your hands flip them hold it here and try and sink down a little further Take a nice deep inhale on the exhale forward fold inhale halfway lift lengthen the spine create some space exhale take it all the way down inhale walk into your plank and when you get there make sure that your shoulders are in line with your wrist inhale the right leg up hold it there take it down opposite leg bring it up awesome take it to the right leg up left arm up, and release opposite side left leg <laughs> and my mic's coming down all right let's go ahead and vinyasa Two breaths. Staying in your down dog as I get my mic back on. Take a couple more breaths here. We're going to inhale the right leg up and then exhale, open it up. That knee comes up, that hip is nice and tall up. Take a nice deep inhale. On the exhale, bring that right knee toward the left and then extend that foot all the way out. Lift into fallen triangle. That left arm is up. Then I want you to take that right hip, bring it all the way down, and then lift up. Take it down. Lift up. One more time. Down. Lift up. Bring that left hand down. Come back into your three legged dog. And then bring that hand down. So you know that what we've done to one side, we must do to the other. Lift that left leg up, open the hip up. Lift that knee up. Even distribution of weight in both hands. Don't hold your breath here. Inhale, square the hips. And then exhale, left knee to right elbow. Plant that foot, right foot comes down, right arm comes up, and then take that left hip down, and then bring it up. And if you can't take it all the way down, take it as far as you can, if this is enough, and then bring it up. And then take it down, bring it up. All right, that's number three. And then come into three-legged dog. And leg comes down. Inhale your right leg up. On the exhale, take the right knee behind the right elbow. Toes behind the left. Extend that left leg back. If you need a blanket or a block underneath that right hip to level them out, please put one there. Inhale up. On the exhale, Come all the way down. One of my favorite stretches. For the hip.
deep in breath. Relax the face. These are great poses to connect to your intention because the stretches are really powerful. Take a deep inhale, bring your hands toward that right leg, curl the left toes under, lift the body up, and then come into a three-legged dog. Bring that foot down, inhale the left leg up, on the exhale, left knee, left elbow, toes behind the right hand, and then extend that right leg all the way back, make sure that that left hip comes all the way down or use a blanket and a block whatever you need to make sure that your hips are level inhale look up and exhale come on down Start to feel your heart rate come down as well. We have just a couple more balance challenges, not as difficult. Nice deep inhale, bring your hands in. On the exhale, push up, curl the left toes under, lift up the body, and then come into that three-legged dog. And then walk it out here, pedal it out, do whatever you feel like you need. Your hips should be nice and released. I want you to come into a plank putting your elbows right in front of the other. You're gonna turn on to the right. You're gonna lift that left arm up and then come all the way to center. Turn to the left and lift that right arm up and then bring it back to center. If you need to modify, you would place that knee down and lift so there are modifications bring it back to center and you can also make this a little more difficult by lifting the leg up and down one more time on the right and then one more time on the left Come back to center, take your elbows directly underneath your shoulders, coming into Sphinx Pose. So all ten toenails into the mat, your shoulders are away from your ears. This is a fantastic pose if you have sciatic issues. Just a really, really good pose to stay in for a little bit. Relax the face. Really lift up tall. If you have sciatic issues on the right, when you come out of this pose, you'll look to the left and vice versa. Your knees might lift off the mat, they might not, doesn't matter. Take a deep inhale, on the exhale coming into crocodile. 
So here, you're going to bring your forehead onto your forearms for a couple of breaths. To your back, hands beside you. We're going to do a couple of bridges, nice deep inhale, and then on the exhale, driving up through the heels, pushing up into your bridge pose, holding it there for five, four, three, two, one, and then nice and gently lowering your bridge. inhale and then on the exhale push up into your bridge one more time for five four three two one come on down bring your knees into your chest you're going to flex all ten toes and you're going to rock forward and back like a rocking chair Take the arms out like a letter T, bring the legs to a 90 degree angle, nice deep inhale, exhale, take the legs all the way over to the right, place your right hand on top of that left leg, look to the right. Deep inhale, exhale, take the legs all the way over to the left. Bring your left hand on top of that right leg and then look to the right. To the ceiling exhale bring the legs up and now go ahead and bring your feet down to the mat your arms are at a 45 degree angle slowly shimmy your shoulders away from your ears take your feet to the edges of the mat and allow your knees to fall into one another give me two breaths here to either stay here in this position or you can go ahead and walk the feet out all the way down your mat allow your feet to just open out naturally and from here take three cleansing breaths inhaling through the nose exhaling through the mouth you might have any tightness tingling 
pressure or tenderness and go ahead and take your breath into those areas. Breath awareness is a fantastic thing to practice, especially while you are calm. It will allow you to learn how to respond to certain situations as opposed to react to them. So while you're here, lying down in Shavasana, see if you can follow your breath. Perhaps follow your breath deep down into your gut. your breath travel from the crown of the head to the tips of the toes and from the tips of the toes to the crown of the head. The goal is to take your breath out of the stress chamber, out of your chest, and to allow it to lengthen and slow you down. center, thumbs to sternum. It has been my pleasure serving you today. I hope that you feel a sense of peace and calm. The teacher, the light, the love, and the imperfections in me 
honor, acknowledge, and accept the teacher, the light, the love, and the imperfections in you. Please go out there and spread your light and your joy. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel, Flow for Balance. My name is Lily Vet. I hope to see you for another practice or meditation. So please follow, like, and subscribe and share my channel. Have an amazing day. Take care. Thank you.